Hey, how's it, man? Yogi, how are you doing? Good, man. Um, you were talking about uh, you know, how far we got back, uh, how far we go back in our family of barbering. And uh, I think it, it's all started out obviously in India because my grand, great grandfather, grandfather, and dad were all from India. And I think the journey started to, uh, to come down to Cape Town to start the barbershop in uh, as early as 1901. And I think my grand, great granddad got an opportunity to open up a shop in Utena. I'm not quite sure exactly why they didn't sail all the way to Cape Town though. But um, Utenag it was, and he was there for around about, I think since early 19s to around about 1915 when he went back. And then the uh, interesting thing is grandfather decided he was going to sail down. And I, I think maybe the route opened up in the early 1900s to come right down to the tip in, in Cape Town. And he got here around about 1929 and uh, opened up his first barbershop actually in two streets further down here. At, I think it was 162 Loop Street. And um, he traded there. And he eventually from there, actually moved up to this very same street here called Baitencrack Street. We on, on the corner, but further down. And uh, Granddad opened up his barbershop in 1940, actually on that corner, as the photos would uh, show in the, in, in the barbershop. When, and he traded there and then uh, had an opportunity I'd say uh, in 1957 to actually purchase uh, this property and build a, a build, build a barbershop right here. And uh, since we are trading now, uh, since 1957 on the corner, where grandfather worked here, dad worked, and other sons. Uh, my brother's still next door under the hairdresser. He worked in his room, myself as a father. And here we are, I mean, it's uh, 2017. It's amazing, it's a long trip away and yeah, we're going well, going strong uh, on the corner. Yeah. So yeah, you know, I was talking, uh, we were talking about back in the days. I think I picked it up in the, in the 1980s. Uh, I, uh, for some reason, barbering started to die down and hairdressers all came up. And um, things, things got slow. Um, my dad actually had a hairdresser and a barber shop together on this corner. And, um, when the barbering fell away, he's actually, he petitioned the shop, just where hairdressing carried on. And then uh, suddenly we noticed the 90s, it was quietish. Um, and then suddenly in the, in the I'll call it in the 2000s, call it in the late 2000s, uh, in, a, in our area, you could have actually counted the amount of barber shops that were in the area. And uh, I compared it to then to now, and I was amazed to see how um, barber shops are sprouted up everywhere in Cape Town. I think it's all about, uh, you know, guys going back to facial hair and, and beards and usually barbershops are well known for, for, for guys trimming up beards, a place to go to, man caves. And uh, it's amazing to see <clears throat> at the moment, since we've been around for such a while, we see um, barbershops opening. But what I, I picked up uh, generally, uh, you know, I've had guys that go to these new barbershops and then they eventually they come back and, and what we picked up is that the barbershops had a, a, a different feel. We got a classic old school walk-in cash run business and you look at the new type of barbershops that's crowded up now is um, they've got the, that hipster look, hipster feel of barbers where it's by appointment and we're looking at the guys always compare about pricing as well on, on, on these new barbershops that's opening. Um, they, they find them a little bit expensive, uh, you know. But again, at the at the end of, end of the day, I guess it's different strokes for different folks, you know. So, yeah. You know, uh, it's interesting. There's barbers all over the world these days. When you come to Cape Town, the guys reckon, so what makes Cape Townian barbers different from other places? You know? And I think um, at the end of the day, it's also about the type of style you do. You know, you get guys that go into the townships that only want a machine cut with no razor blade. And they like tight fades uh, by machine. And those guys are pretty nifty at it. And the interesting part is you can come back into, say, another area where the guy's got some skill with a scissor and machine, which is totally cool to do. Uh, you know, the guys ask me, uh, Yogi, so what's next? It's going great in the barber shop. Uh, you know, if, if I could do something which I think is lacking in Cape Town at the moment is um, 
I'd like to pass on a skill to somebody out there that has not the abilities to maybe study further in, in, in barbering. The one thing we, I've noticed that we don't have a good college in Cape Town. And if I could um, start up something where we could teach, uh, where maybe even learn and earn type of thing for somebody out there, I think that will be a great thing for me to do. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, just, just, just enjoy um, maybe just getting a brand uh, out there that is comfortable to people and people like and know and uh, nice to spread a Capetonian word about a barbershop. That's it.